a separate Monday's briefing if a couple of you want to join us just out here, yeah, after this one. Get started. How do you assess that? Sorry? How do you assess that? Well, I think it was a very tough game. I think uh, overall, I think we deserve to win. Uh, we were better. Uh, it's true that this, the motion that you maybe we can we can get now was on the last uh, few minutes that they tried to 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 score and dominate a little bit the game, but I think on the, if we analyze the game and see we, we, were, we were better, only after the, this, uh, when we start to play with 10 men, they dominate a little bit more the game. But I, I am so happy, I think it was very, the team showed different face during the, the game. Uh, we play well, we compete, we fight in, a, again, a difficult, very difficult team uh, in a derby. And you know, like me, uh, I told you before that uh, that game means more than three points. I think that can help uh, to improve and to learn and and uh, be better uh, during the season. If you need your proof that Harry Kane was probably the best strike, English striker, did you see it today? No, no, only English. I think on the wall. Uh, for me, Harry is one of the, the best strikers on the world. And for me, it's, it's too hard to, to find the, the word to describe him because uh, in the last three seasons, I am telling you how he is. Uh, I am in love, like, like the fans are, are in love, like the teammates are in love, but not only because he scored goals, because how he is professional, humble, He's a very good example in this uh, football today, that is a big business. Uh, but uh, him is uh, keep all the values that uh, managers like me appreciate a lot. And, and that is why I say to you, I am in love with him for different reasons. Glowing tribute, that. Eh? Sorry? It's a very glowing tribute. You don't have to get managers here. Eh? Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Difficult for me, sorry, to understand. Yeah, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Mauricio, what did you make of Sir Dorian's red car? I think the first uh, yellow car uh, wasn't yellow car. Of course, disappointed because he he got the, the, the second yellow car and then uh, uh, the red car, no? But that is football. I understand very well that this football, when I was player, make a lot of mistake and I have a lot. I had a lot of problem. That is football. I am happy with him. All the club and the teammates are very happy with him. He settled very well. He's only 20 days with us working, and I am happy. I am happy. Only disappointed, like sure, uh, he is. But understand that football in football sometimes can happen this this type of situation. Does it show that he needs time, maybe in England to adjust? But it's like uh, everyone uh, always uh, to 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 show your real uh, quality. You need time. It's true that it's completely different the the uh, La Liga in France and 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 the Premier League is completely different. Um, all is everything, all is different, but uh, I am happy. I am happy with him. With your three away wins to start the season, um, how impressive is that for you? And, and do you feel like your players maybe do feel a bit free of playing away from home? I know you speak about Wembley a lot, but it seems like they're producing their best football away. Well, I think I am so happy if we, uh, we are. If we see also the the last season, we are um, we have very good performance away from home. Uh, now we need to start to, to feel good on Wembley, make home Wembley, try to win on Wembley. I think that is our next challenge, no, to to, to win games there. Um, I think the team is doing fantastic away from home. Now we try to to learn, to improve, like always, and, and win games on Wembley. Any more? Thank you. Thank you.